Hey guys, welcome back to another quick form video. In today's video, we're talking about the new Samsung Galaxy S21. So this was just announced today, guys. Um, at least uh, January 14. Now this video might come, uh, I might upload it tomorrow, just depending on how it goes. Um, since I'm kind of filming this a little late, since I just got off of work. So let's go ahead and talk to you guys about this and see what kind of, you know, what kind of phone it is, what kind of specs, and do I think this is coming to the prepaid sector? Um, like Boost Mobile, Cricket, and Metro, and uh, yeah, we'll 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 get to that. But let's go ahead and see what kind of specs we're talking about. Um, but first, yes, I do actually. Let me tell you, I do think this is definitely will come to the prepaid sector, like Boost Mobile, Cricket, uh, Metro, uh, by T-Mobile. Now we might only get uh, a Boost Mobile might only get like the S twenty one. Same thing, Cricket might get all three models. It really. Uh, depends sometimes you don't get you know prepaid carriers don't get all the models they might just get the first two or might just get the most expensive one it just really depends i've seen it sometimes where they'll only get the base model so as more information comes out of course i will be the first to update you guys as i found find out but right now if you go to uh samsung's website you can actually go ahead and check it out so it says from 99.99 with eligible trade in so that's just uh, trade in deals you can see right here that you can pre-order it starting today and get a 150 dollars samsung credit and free galaxy smart tag so like i said pre-order started january 14th guys so samsung galaxy s21 5g s21 plus 5g so of course in the name these will be 5g devices of course let's look at the quick specs i do like the design um, as you can see here, it does have a camera bump right here, so it does bump up the camera, so you will probably have to get a case. If not, you're probably going to be cracking it or scratching it at, at most. As you can see here, the camera is lifted. Um, it's not flush at all, so that's something that I kind of don't like, but I kind of do. Like I said, put a case on it, I think you'll be fine. It says Everyday Epic, introducing Galaxy S. 21 5g and s21 plus 5g super high resolution camera and 8k video wow galaxy galaxy's fastest processor yet all day intelligent battery a striking new design every day just got epic wow so this is let's look at design first made to turn heads of course like i said this purple slash gold look does i kind of like the two-tone color more than just kind of like this purplish color um, or pink color, should I say? So here, here's the S21, S21 Plus. The Galaxy S21 5G is a 6.2 inch, so big boy, it's big phone. Infinity O display, dynamic AMOLED 2X, eye comfort shield, super smooth, 120 hertz. So right there, guys, it tells you that these phones again, 120 hertz display. That's what we want. That's what we like. That's what Galaxy users are. You know, a custom, especially with the newer ones. So it says Galaxy S21 Plus. This is the Plus version, so you're getting 0.5 inches bigger, um, 6.7 inch right here. And same thing, Infinity O Display Dynamic, a Dynamic AMOLED 2X, Eye Comfort Shield, and same thing, super smooth, 120 hertz. So from the previous phones, guys, they are saying that the 120 hertz is even smoother than before. It's just the transitions are a lot better. So let's keep going down, see more about that. So same thing here, some of the, so the colors is a vibrant a violet. So this is, this is all right. It's going to be the silver and then the black. Wow. Me personally, uh, it's between the silver or the black or even this purple. I don't know. It's kind of, kind of pops a little, you know, um, but yeah. It says total eye candy. It sure is. I mean, the display is going to be pretty pretty good it says brilliant and protect protect in every way so wow sleek sleek design durable display the toughest gorilla glass yet so this is what i like about galaxies guys is the gorilla glass is really good um it says built for those oh no moments uh corning gorilla glass vitus um delivers scratch and damage protection that makes it our toughest glass on a smartphone now remember you still want to get a tempered glass of course and it's definitely not going to be totally prone to scratches and damages. It's just saying it's it's a little bit more prone to those uh, type of, uh, you know, damages, I guess, that you can occur, occur, incur. Jesus. It says video doesn't get any better than this. So, wow. 
Uh, so as you can see, boop, it's pretty cool. It says pro grade um, video. So a total frame changer. Wow, 8K guys. I mean, come on, 8K. That is bananas. You can record in 8K every moments that outshine the cinema. So it's pretty, pretty good. I, I do like that they have the whole 8K thing. It says pull epic stills straight from 8K video. Wow. So you can straight up pull stills while you record 8K video. It says 8K video, the highest resolution video in a smartphone delivers beyond cinematic footage, making your 8K content a high res picture worthy in our theater. Wow. So everybody knows 4K right now. I think people are just kind of getting used to it, but now 8K is coming. So now I'm pretty sure you can't record that long in 8K, but it says plus 8K video snap lets you pull an album of crisp photos up to 33 megapixels right out of every 8K video. Just record now, snap later. Wow. So it was pretty cool. Like let's say if you're taking a video and then you find it in the video, uh, you know, you're playing back. You're like, wow, this would be an epic picture. You can snap it and it will save up to a 33 megapixel picture, which is great. It says one take, as you can see, really cool, different effects. Um, super steady, of course. This is what another cool thing with Samsung cameras that I do like is you don't need like a gimbal or anything like that. As you can see, it's very stable here. Super steady on versus it being off. So this is on, this is off. So it's very shaky versus this. It's just smooth. I mean, look at that. So me personally, you know, I love cameras. I would probably try to get this uh, camera or this phone just for the camera. Honestly, it says action packed and super smooth, super steady. Turns your phone into an action ready, steady cam capturing silk smooth footage, no matter how bumpy the right gets. Super smooth, 60 frames per second video automatically adjusts your frame rate. So you can record super smooth video in both bright and low light, guys. Wow, wow, wow. Overall, uh, pretty good. Let's talk about the front. So the front's just 10 megapixel selfie camera. That sounds kind of low versus some other phones like the Fan Edition S20 FE version. You know, has a like a 33 megapixel front facing camera. So here's the camera lenses. You got a 12 megapixel ultra wide, 12 megapixel wide angle camera and a 64 megapixel telephoto wow so there you go 64 wow the beauty is in the details like i said 64 megapixel camera as you can see here it is and you can even zoom in to it and see just how much detail it can actually preserve instantly ready you know wow so here's the different portrait modes that you can see so original the blur effect studio Wow. So let's go from the original to the studio, high key mono, low key mono. Wow. It's kind of cool actually. Backdrop and color point. So wow. Very, very nice. I do like all these effects, especially on a camera like this. Uh, AI analysis. Eh, well, that's not really important stuff. Um, this is the night mode, guys. The night is yours. As you can see, night mode does brighten up the pictures, even in low light. Another cool thing is it does have 30 times um, space zoom. So like I said, once you get 30 times zoomed in, of course, you're not going to keep all the details, but it's still pretty good. Um, selfie mode, of course, just enhances with the AI. Nothing really too much there. Performance, of course, this is the main thing. If you guys aren't gaming video taking or anything like that, performance is definitely uh, one thing to go. Is remember, this has, I believe it's the Snapdragon 888, if I remember right. Um, it says intelligent battery, epic battery, epic battery power, of course, all day battery with a up to a 4,800 milliamp battery. Of course, that's for the bigger models, super fast charging, wireless charging, wireless power share. So, Boom, there you go. Samsung brought it back again, guys, where you can actually share power with another phone, which is great. Uh, download episodes. Of course, 5G. The 5G is just going to be a strong processor. This only has 8 gigs of RAM, which is a little low, in my opinion, for, you know, kind of like flagship phone. It uh, should have more like 12, like, you know, last year's models. Um, so... Wow, storage with up to 256 gigabytes of built-in memory. You can store thousands of high-res pictures. Of course, I mean, if it's recording in 8K, guys, you're going to need a lot of storage to store all that. 
And then of course 5G, 5G is not available everywhere, but when it is, it's super fast. And here we go, this is what it's talking about, gaming performing performance that's got games as own the leader boards with our ultra responsive 120 hertz display and hyper fast 5G Wi-Fi 6. So if you have Wi-Fi 6 in the house, it's pretty fast, guys. Then what's in the box, of course, this year, good thing if you got to this point of the video, let me talk to you guys. There is no charger or headphones anymore. So they are doing what Apple's doing, of course. Come on, Samsung, don't be copying Apple, man. Apple is getting, you know, quite a bit of heat for that. But, uh, yep, what's included is the Type-C data cable, ejection pin, and quick starter guide. Wow, travel adapter sold separately. So chargers sold separately, no headphones. And that's about it. What do you guys think? Like I said, if it does land on one of the prepaid carriers like Boost Mobile, Cricket, or Metro Byte, a T-Mobile, will you get this phone? The pricing, of course, like I said, is is up there, of course. Um, here it is through, uh, here's the prices at least um, through Samsung's website. So the Samsung Galaxy S21 is going to be 800 The S21 Plus is going to be 1000 And then the Ultra is going to be $1,200, guys. Of course, on prepaid, that's going to be pretty expensive to pay for it. Um, but if you guys have been saving for a good phone and you like got Android and Galaxy, this is probably the one to get. I said most of the times Boost Mobile will have usually a hundred dollar discount. Um, maybe not at launch, but uh, you know later on they usually do price drop these a hundred dollars. So good way to save some money. So check it out, guys. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Check out the description below, and I have some ways you can support the channel that way. So thank you.